previously on the Fuel Efficiency Face-Off, the New Driver Challenge. We set out to answer the question, how fuel efficient could a new truck driver be? Volvo Trucks North America challenged me to spend five weeks in CDL school to earn my Class A license. Then challenged truck super specker Joel Morrow to a fuel efficiency face-off, where I drive his fuel efficient Volvo truck, and he drives an old 90s Volvo VN to see who gets better fuel economy. I passed the written test to earn my CDL permit, and I quickly learned that book work was the easy part. If you were to ask me, well, what are you most worried about? Where are you going? Go to those six. Anytime I have to shift, I just feel like I'm wrestling with it. A lot of times that um, nobody has ever driven an unsynchronized transmission when they come here. And that becomes a large hurdle. So what we have to do is we have to match our engine speed to the proper gear speed to our proper road speed. If you're in a manual car, you already have synchronizers inside your transmission. When we push that clutch to the floor and we slide it to the next gear, it's already doing all the work for you. Now we have to do what they call double clutching. And we need to rev it up properly if we're going down to a lower gear, or we need to have the RPM drop at the right time to go into the next higher gear. So a lot of times it comes down to rhythm and listening to what your engine wants. As a new driver, I have no idea what the engine wants. But Volvo truck engineers know exactly what it wants with the iShift transmission. I know you're used to listening to the ear and shifting through the, through the gears manually, but with a Volvo iShift, the engine and transmission talk together. The engine knows exactly what the transmission's doing and the transmission knows exactly what the engine is doing. The torque and horsepower curves are loaded into both. Uh, again, they will communicate. They know the maximum horsepower and, uh, and the minimum RPM that that engine's available to run at. The idea is to find the most efficient place for this transfer of gears to happen at that point in time, regardless of the grade, going up a grade, going down a grade. So the engine will match its RPMs instead of you having to do that through the throttle and the clutch, the engine will do that seamlessly through this process, matching the required horsepower with uh, the proper horsepower to pull the load. Uh, so it's seamless to the driver. Students have a hard time with the manual because of just getting the rhythm. With the automatic, you don't have to worry about all that. You don't gotta worry about the clutching. You don't gotta worry about double clutching. You're the synchronizer with the manual. With the automatic, you just put it in drive like your car and you can focus more on what you're doing out on the road or on the yard here. You don't have to worry about, you know, shifting and down shifting and clutching and all of that. on the road today um, after yesterday and I did way better way better felt more comfortable I think I actually smiled this time <laughs> when I didn't smile was uh, pulling into the fuel depot here around the corner around the, the store it's kind of tight and put that tire right on the curb right next to a uh, man anyway almost popped the tire I did not pop the tire the trailer tire it was a little tight I got caught in a downshift wasn't watching. Yeah. Yeah. So, kind of a end to a pretty good drive. 
Can I say that? We'll bleep it. Two steps forward, one step back. Jason's biggest problems were that when we was out on the road, all right, uh, his movement of shifting was kind of slow sometimes, all right. Um, and I think that was because he was trying to process so much at, 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 at one time in his head. But, you know, um, sometimes you didn't, you know, you didn't check your mirrors often. Um, I would tell you about that. One of the things that I get in my head about, especially the shifting, it takes so much of my attention. And again, focusing on speed, right? What is my speed? And then match the gear to that speed has been helpful. But yeah, it's a lot of, uh, there's a lot going on. Drivers are crazy on the road. Uh, you can't, you know, you're not stopping very, very quickly. Uh, you know, and, and, and I, I realize how much, how much safety requires attention, right? It's easy to talk about safety and broad brush it, but what it comes down to is driver attention, what I'm focusing on. And right now when I'm learning, I'm focusing on shifting. And I mean, that's showing up in my turns and, uh, and, and everything else. The safety benefits of the eye shift is it takes that distraction out of the driver when they need to learn how to know when to push in the clutch, engage the gears, shift the shifter, and it, it keeps their hands on the wheel, focus on driving, focus on the, in the environment around them. So that's, that's the intention that they are able to give to their driving is more focus on driving and not worrying about when the downshift, when the upshift, and handling the gear shifting. It also takes the stress and strain out of the driver. They're not having to work that gear shift all the time and they, they can focus on the driving at hand. The eye shift allows you to downshift and downhill descents, unlike a manual transmission. In a manual transmission, you have to select your gear before you go down a hill. With the eye shift, it gives you the availability to downshift, so slowing the vehicle down, uh, dropping it down a gear to control that truck as it's going down a hill. So runaway truck ramps are a thing of the past. Uh, one of the other side benefits is it has hill hold assist. And hill hold assist, as you stop on a hill, instead of slipping the clutch going up a hill from a stop, uh, hill hold assist, you'll put your foot on the brake. It'll give you three seconds to put your foot on the throttle before uh, the brakes are released. So it's a safety feature to keep you from rolling backwards. With the newer technology, especially with the automatic uh, manual transmissions, it is opening up a lot more doors for people who may have had struggles in shifting before. And now a lot of times we can get them a restricted license and get them on the road and be safe out there. It's gonna make them a much safer driver rather than somebody who cannot understand a manual transmission properly to take it down major steep grades or in you know, faster traffic. So I believe it's ultimately it's making us safer drivers and it's making it more attainable for a lot more people. Advanced safety systems will also help you as a driver. Uh, Volvo has VEDA, Volvo Active Driver Assist. Now what that does is it scans the vehicle in front of you or vehicles in front of you to find vehicles. If you're getting too close, active braking will go ahead and brake, brake the vehicle. Uh, you also have adaptive cruise which will keep the vehicle at a safe distance ahead of it. You'll have lane departure. Uh, lane departure will give you a warning if you do not have your blinker and you're changing from one lane to the other. We'll also let you know that if there is a car in the lane beside you, it will give you an audible alert uh, and uh, a flashing light on the right hand side to let you know that a vehicle is coming up. The great thing about these new systems is that it's giving the, inf the, uh, the alerts to the driver, helping the driver be more safe on the road. But I always tell my students that regardless of all those safety features, it's good. You're the biggest safety feature in the truck, all right? Because you are. So you got to pay attention. You got to keep your eyes open, your ears, you know, listening, and you got to keep that head moving. As I get better, I start to feel safer out there on the road, but I know that I need to be, I need to really pay attention to it, especially on those turns. I got getting confident on shifting. I need to get confident on turns. Safety is paramount. Uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, the, the drivers are cutting in front of you. Uh, you know, half of them are probably on their phones. So it's important. 
And, you know, as, as someone who's training to be a driver, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really complicated. It takes a lot of energy out of you at the end of the day, just paying attention and making sure that you're, you're driving safe and playing it, operating the truck as safely as possible. I mean, it's no, it's no joke. You can't be focused on other things, which is a challenge in this process when you're just learning. Because I was rolling backward. When you start to move, you take your foot off the brake. Off the
Well, the, the afternoon was actually worse than the morning. It was fucking awful. Two or three curbs. Frank Lapp. I don't want to do this anymore. This isn't what I wanted to do. I gotta come back here tomorrow. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Right now, I don't know if I will. Hey, how's it going? Uh, probably already know the the answer to this question, but do I? Maybe I just maybe I just need to talk. But um, what if I don't want to do this anymore? Yeah, no, no, I know it. Just yeah, today was hard. I don't know. I get the hang of one thing, and then. My turns were terrible. A couple curbs, stall. I just. I'll sleep on it. Oh man, if only. I really don't want to come tomorrow. I really don't want it. I just need a day. <sighs> okay, I'll call you later. Thank you.